Hey everyone, today we are featuring Era 3 Heavy Tank Object 292. This tank was a part of Flames of War season as a level 100 reward. So if you finish that season and uh, didn't sell this tank, you should have this tank. And this tank, it's a really good tank and fun to play. The tank has amazing gun handling, the best gun handling at Era 3 for a uh, 700 plus alpha. As well as it has 200 almost close to 2000 meter per second shell velocity as well it does still have some weak points it does not have the usual gun depression that mbds get it only has 4.5 degrees of gun depression so you have to keep that in mind while playing that to this tank as you cannot play ridges in addition to that it does not have hull armor so its hull can easily be penned so whenever you're moving try to wiggle a little bit like uh, i was doing so the enemy 292 he just bounced on my side you have to be careful not to expose your hull, which could be easier said than done because it, the tank doesn't have gun depression and sometimes you try to peek a little bit and exposes your hull and it also sets you on fire. So it has two main weak points, gun lack of gun depression and lack of armor, but it makes it up for its absolutely amazing gun handling. So we have three 700 or 700 plus alpha tanks at era three or MBTs that are not missiles. Object 477, Thumper, and 292. 477 has a two second longer reload, and Thumper has a little less alpha but has terrible gun handling compared to this tank. So in its current state, this is a tank I find most enjoyable to play because it has its weak points, so you have to be careful playing this tank. And uh, you have to make sure you're not, not around ridges because when the game started, I was playing at the E7 position and I ended up taking a shot. And I realized that, okay, that's not a position for my tank and moved to a more flat ground where I could use rubbles to peek around where I don't need much gun depression. In terms of my setup, I have all the skills and equipment to improve my gun handling as well as survivability skills. My setup is also listed in the description. There are two ways to play this tank. One is you go with your teammates and while the enemy is focusing on your teammates, you do damage while carefully preserving your HP. That has to be the case in most small maps like Ruinberg or Berlin. However, if it's a big map, then you can also start as a sniper early on in the game because it does have great gun handling as mentioned earlier as well as the shell velocity which allows you to do that effectively combined with its alpha. So in this map, since it was a small map, I decided to go with a former approach where I'm just going with my teammates, but I wait for them to attract enemies' guns, and then I poke around and pen the enemy while they're still focusing on my teammate. It's only less than four minutes into the game, and I'm at 14,000 damage, which is considered to be a decent amount of damage, especially for a quick game. Another thing that you have to keep in mind while playing this tank, or especially any Era 3 tank, is you cannot be by yourself because you will get rushed. Era 3 is worse in terms of holding a position by yourself or without having enough tanks because there's too much yoloing or rushing involved. And I had to learn it the hard way that no matter how good you are, you just have to follow the team. And even if enemy is capping the base if you stay there to guard the base you will just die doing one shot of damage so at this point in era 3 i have given up on uh, holding the back side if my team is pushing towards one side you can still hold in era 1 and 2 but era 3 is something that doesn't allow that and uh, yeah even in this map i made sure i was not by myself i was with my team not in front line but close enough where i was able to help my teammates so that they're not bleeding HP for nothing. And ended up with 17.7 K damage. So that's it for this video. I will be posting Road to 3 Mark once I finish the grind on this tank. That will be a raw video as those videos are usually longer and it's harder for me to go over them. And I think you can also enjoy them in peace. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching guys, if you haven't followed yet, Make sure to subscribe as well as follow me on Twitch.
If you're not on Discord, you can also join the uh, Discord using the link provided in the description. And once again, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day.